So when I look back over the last almost 150 years, uh, there were all kinds of whys in the road where we would have gone belly up or sold to someone else or some other larger company, and that's typically what happens to family businesses. But, um, you know, it's something more than that. You know, when, when you have your, your family's name on the label, and that's something that has survived, you know, for 145 years, um, we're very proud of that. And uh, at this point, I don't think there's any reason why we shouldn't just keep going. I'm Stephen John Martinelli. I represent the fourth generation. and I'm currently the president and chief executive officer of S. Martinelli & Company. There you go. Okay. <laughs> you coming in? Yeah, I'm coming in. Okay. So, Stephen Martinelli, Stephen Martinelli. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can you tell me about your favorite apple? What's your favorite apple? Uh, Pippin. You like the Pippin? Oh, you can't beat the Pippin. How come I'm shrinking your ear growing? What are you standing on? <laughs> There are a few fundamental principles that we've developed over the years that we try to stick to pretty carefully. We make our product 100% from U.S. grown fresh apples, not from concentrate. We have a cold process, so anytime you heat juice, you degrade the quality of it. If you take the apples with a blend of all the different delicious varieties and blend them together, press them cold, Keep them in tanks so you can filter and then go to the bottle. You sacrifice yield and it costs more to produce that way, but you end up with a better finished product. That is what our Martinelli's Gold Medal um, apple juice is all about. So that's a, something that we're never going to change. There, there, there have been all kinds of, of technological advances you know, with heat and centrifuges and enzymes and all the stuff that you do in order to get very high yields high throughputs, low cost product, and what you end up with is a product that doesn't taste very good. Yeah, but this is the, uh, this is the, this is the most important apple in our quiver, right here. Yeah, see, so that, that's a Newtown Pippin, and you can tell by the shape of it how it's flat like this. Look, I've got a nice Band-Aid today too. Real yellow one. Ooh, there's a there's a Mondo one. See, look at that. That had a that was an apple that never formed. That's a that is a classic Pippin. So they can never make slices with these because it's not round. So you can't peel this apple. That's why the Granny Smith took over. See the difference? That's the difference. So the Granny Smiths because they're beautiful green and they're perfectly shaped, they replace the Pippin, which is kind of an, arguably an, uh, an ugly apple um, in the marketplace. But that was to our benefit because this apple is okay. It's tart, you know, so it balances well with the Fuji, but it doesn't have the, the robust apple flavor that the Pippin has. So the Pippin really has the perfect balance of sweetness and tartness and a lot of apple character that comes through uh, in the juice. But it's not in favor for the fresh market anymore because it doesn't look very good. Which is really a sad commentary. One thing that my dad taught me that, that I also believe very strongly in is that you don't charge more for your product than it's worth. We not only have the best product out there, uh, but it's also priced fairly. We have competitive products that are priced higher than we are, that don't taste as good, that have funny ingredients. I mean, we know we make a comfortable profit margin, and, and that, that's, that's all we need. So at this age, I'm 56 years old, and you know, theoretically, I've got another you know, 10 good years in me. The, the company's in a really good position now um, for me to uh, you know, start to slowly migrate away and let the uh, you know, next generation sort of fill in where they feel it's appropriate. And, uh, uh, but the bottom line is, uh, we're not for sale. The company is gonna survive to the fifth and, and hopefully sixth generation. And, you know, it's, it's, um, 
I mean, it makes sense. You sell the golden goose, it's gone.